in this lesson, we are going to learn how to evaluate logs. So here's our first example. Now, of course, you could go type this in on your calculator, but that's not really the point. The idea is, is I want to show you what this actually means. So you see here this number at the bottom, we call that the base. So what they're saying is three to the power of what is equal to 27. That's what this question actually says. It says three to the power of what gives you 27? Well, we know that three to the power of one is three, three to the power of two is nine, three to the power of three is 27. And so that would be the answer. So if you had to go type this on a calculator, it would actually just say three. Here's the next one. So what this says is two to the power of what gives us 32. So we know that 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, 2 to the 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So this answer is 5. So you can try this one yourself. It says 2 to the power of what, so that's a question mark, is equal to 8. Now 2 to the power of 3 gives you 8. So that's the answer. Try this one yourself. So 3 to the power of what number gives you 81? So if you say 3 to the power of 1, that's 3. 3 to the power of 2, that means 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 to the power of 3 is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 3 to the power of 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81. So this would be 4 as our answer. Now this one's a little bit a little bit more interesting because it's 1 over 81. So we could say 3 to the power of what gives you 1 over 81. Now from the previous example, we should remember, or let, let me first show you something. So if you say 3 to the power of 1, that gives you 3. If you say 3 to the power of 2, that gives you 9. If you say 3 to the minus 1, that gives you 1 over 3. 3 to the minus 2 that gives you 1 over 9. 3 to the 3 gives you 27. 3 to the minus 3 gives you 1 over 27. 3 to the 4 gives us 81. So then 3 to the minus 4 gives us, sorry, 1 over 81. So this answer is negative 4. Not positive 4, but negative 4. Let's do four more examples. So this, is, this says 5 to the power of what gives us 25. So that should be 5 to the power of 2 would give us 25. So the answer is 2. 4, this, what this question means is 4 to the power of what gives you 64. So we know 4 to the 1 is 4. 4 to the power of 2 is 4 times 4, which is 16. 4 to the power of 3 is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So this answer is a 3. Now here we have a 1 over again. So we know that 5 to the 1 is 5. 5 to the 2 means 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 to the 3 is 125. If you say 5 to the minus 1, that's 1 over 5. 5 to the minus 2, that's 1 over 25. And 5 to the minus 3 is 1 over 125. So this answer would have to be negative 3. Here's our last example. So we know that 3 to the 1 is 3, 3 to the 2 is 9, 3 to the 3 is 27. If you say 3 to the minus 1, that's 1 over 3. 3 to the minus 2 is 1 over 9. 3 to the minus 3 is 1 over 27. So this answer is negative 3.